taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, off top, you stop breathing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. top rank, you, yeah, you shit the bed. And yeah, so does Golden the reset Boy. Button. Yeah, Golden Boy also has, you know, shit the bed as well, you know. You know, like I said, I mean, unfortunately, everyone knows about the McKinson Ortiz problem, and Ortiz, unfortunately, you know, Ortiz, you know, it seems like he's outgrowing 147. Uh, cause you know, when you start digesting, when we start having issues with your protein and your liver, like, dig you know, not, di you know, not digesting properly, then you have, you know, then you have some problems. Like either you're not, either you're cutting weight badly or you're just not, you know, you're not training hard enough or whatever, but you know, it was unfortunate. Yeah, he fights hard enough. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I be lies. He be looking like he trained hard to me, but I, I think it's what you said earlier. Like, I think he outgrew. Like you seen the pictures with him and um Castano? Like, yeah, he, he's bigger. He looked bigger than fucking Castano. Like Castano was a fun. It was one fifty four and shit. Like you know, like yeah. yeah so it, it's unfortunate, you know, that so he even Josh came. Josh Taylor and uh, Virgil Ortiz look about the same size. It's yeah. crazy because a lot of the you know it's always Boots versus Ortiz, and everybody talks shit about Boot kind of being a quote unquote weight bully, but Ortiz. But you know everybody's body's different, so. Yeah, I mean, you make the weight, you make the weight. Like, until Ortiz, I'm sorry, until Boots starts having the same problems Ortiz having, then we can't really even look at Boots. He's making the weight. Like, yep, exactly. <laughs> right. You know, and then unfortunately, his opponent, though, you know, did get, did eventually did find an opponent. And unfortunately, he did not, you know, unfortunately, he did not make a good uh, impression. You know, you're like you can't have two cute spoilers fighting each other, especially if one of them. You know, they uh, pause. By the way, you know, pause, pause. Yeah, it's old school. Like, you know what I mean, like you, you know what? The, the, yeah, if you know what I'm talking about, boxing, like, you, you know what I mean, like, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm not because these niggas are not attractive at all. Like, I'm a man. Yeah, I don't right. that. But uh, you know, <laughs> but, well, uh, yeah, yeah, so, some Vega shit, like. Well, yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, but oh, yeah, if you have two fighters that don't have a lot of punching power, that are known just to be, you know, real slick and whatnot, and yeah, you had like less than ten KOs between them. <laughs> yeah, then yeah, you're you're gonna get a fight. That, you know, unfortunately, now if they actually had a fight where they were actively trying to KO each other, then it would have been like cool. You know, they try making the pressure. But unfortunately, yeah, that fight was a dud. McKinson, unfortunately, he's gonna have a harder time breaking into the American market you know, after that type of performance. Um, and the rest of the card is just, you know, Becky Bully got a one punch knockout. Yay. You know, and whatever. But, uh, yeah, but Blair Cobbs and Alexis Rocha, it definitely restored their feelings. Like, the crowd came alive. They, they woke. You know, they, they salvaged, they, they, it, it low key salvaged the weekend. Like, if you didn't have this fight, the weekend would have been a dud to me. Right. And, 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 and my thing about Cobbs, too, Cobbs. It is it, Cobbs is good for the sport. Like, I mean, he's eloquent. He can talk. Like you know, he, he can he can do commentary, and do bars from pro wrestling a lot. I mean, clearly he does. Ric Flair, Rock, whatever. You know, do the Yeah. Yeah. I mean, dude. Dude is a complete character, and he's entertaining. Like he's not. I mean, it's not force or whatever. You know, but I think he'd be he'd been making he he'd been making some enemies of like, especially calling. Oh, out, oh no, man. I I, I find. Cobbs to be really goofy. Like, he's a goofier version of Keith Thurman and not nearly as. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, well, I mean, that's the thing. Like, all these niggas is like low key, corny, and goofy. Like, yeah, I but mean, honestly, yeah, well, Twitch, there's not a lot of niggas. You, you a goofy action. nigga if you not fight three, four times a year to me. Shit. Like, so yeah. all these motherfuckers goofy. Like, y'all some goofy rich motherfuckers who don't fight at all. Yeah, but Blair Cobb is like, he's, he stands up because at least, I mean, dudes out there, he be talking, he running his mouth. And then, of course, he ran his mouth against Spence. You know, and Spence didn't like that shit all that much. He do. So, I mean, we'll definitely get to what Spence had to say. But yeah, you know, in this fight, like, you know, Cobb's pretty much, when he, once he was pushed up to main event, I guess, like, pretty much, I mean, I mean, you know, like, should he, if he had won that fight, then obviously he'd be, uh, he'd probably get a bigger fight on on the next Golden Boy card or whatever that might be, or whatever. I mean, he, set the, he set the stage with all the shit talking and going viral and, you know, and making yeah. everybody respond to him. He honestly, look, dude was like 32 years old. That's, 
I mean, so if, if you and I feel like we old, then like 32, if you're a boxer, is an old nigga in the sport, really. Yeah, really. Especially if one who has like, who barely has like 16 fights, give or take. Yeah, so you getting there to that point where it's like, look, you got to make a move. Like, you either get you a pack, get off the block, do something. Yeah, I mean, and Cobb, he, Cobb jumped off the corner and started making moves and talking his shit. And yeah, he did. He need because he knew what he needed to do. Because you know, yeah. and plus, you know, it needed because Golden Boy has been losing his stars left and right. You know, and you know, like Golden Boy only has like a few bankable stars in their promotion. Now he and he and he matched me one of them. You know, and, and well, any, anyone with fucking momentum, like yeah. <laughs> I mean, he talks wild. You know, he punch, he fights wild. He has, he has legitimate punching power. But you know, obviously, in our preview too, like, and I know, you know, I mean, I think, I think we were split on like half of you said that Cobb would win, half of you said Rocha would win. I think me and Pisa, me and Pisa, yeah. and, uh, me, me and Pilot, we we both, you know, said Cobb's. We were up Team Light Skin. Yeah, yeah Team Light Skin. <laughs> you know, not, 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 you know. Somebody, yeah. you know, had to go the other side. <laughs> yeah, only because well, Pete, Pete really doesn't like cops. Like Pete's like, you know, Cobb doesn't bother me as much. Cobb doesn't. That's what I'm saying. Like he's good for the sport. He's like, good for the sport. I mean, I could definitely see him being Comey into the Comey eventually again, maybe. You know, and like, that's the thing. If like you light skin niggas know, like if you light skin, you gotta be extra with it. He doesn't. He doesn't bother me. I just don't find him that good. And sometimes he's like, it's annoying. Sometimes, sometimes he's funny. Sometimes he's annoying. It just yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, his, his, yeah, his boxing ability was not to the point where <clears throat> whereas Rocha is legi- is a legitimate like he's a good fighter. Like he only he only been beaten by Speedy. Like, he so was like, fucking he, hurt. He was hurting Rocha. Rocha yeah, he, has pedigree. Yeah, he's a pedigree for boxing. Yeah, he, he was he, actually he hurting where, Rocha, yeah, he, and he was fucking up his eye. The thing is with Cobb, he fucking. He feels himself too much, like on the uh, on the defense. He he gets in there like he's either trying to be Pacquiao or he's trying to be fucking Sergio Mora. Like you can only be one or the other, and I'll be the I'll try to be the all time great boxer, not the guy who might be Hall of Fame for commenting. Yeah, yeah, and 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 once Cobb started feeling Rocha, if Rocha can punch him. Once starts once he started feeling that power. Then he started getting on his bike, and he was looking like, and he started looking super trash. And that, by that and that's the thing. He, he let Rosa get momentum. Like, yeah, there was times where he would stack, like he would buzz Rosa hard, and it's like he never just kind of, he never just kind of pushed it after that. Like it, it was like two one Cobbs, and after that, it's all downhill. <laughs> yeah, that's how yeah. I felt. Like I felt like, dude, like you know how some people, as long as they're coming forward throwing hands, they're good. But the minute you back them up or you make them do something else, they just stop becoming effective. They're trash. That's what Cobbs is. Cobbs, he throws fucking like weird punches from different angles and they're heavy handed. Right. Yeah. And, and he, yeah, sometimes he was like, them shits. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's like he was doing good with them. But it's like as soon as he calmed the firefight. Mm-hmm. Then Rosa, who has ability and is composed, mm-hmm. Rosa felt like okay, the fire is coming, is incoming less and less now. I could weather it a little better. Hmm. Yep. And and when you got boxing skills and you confident in your ability, you'll weather that shit. And that's what he did. Well, shout. Out, oh yeah, my bad. Shout out to everybody that's coming. Every and any guy slid. Rossi Taylor. Yeesh. Yeah, Kyle's Golden talking Boy. is good for yeah. the promotion. I don't think anyone thought he was top level, but again, then yeah, you gotta you, oh yo yo rusty, you gotta go back and watch Cobb's Rosa. Like that was the only good fight of the weekend. You could watch that one. The, yeah, the other shit like nah, you good. <laughs> yeah, like if you if you I mean if you see like the if you see like the little clips of the of the recaps or whatever the video, yeah, I mean that that that's probably good enough for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, Eddie Goss let Golden Boy is super trash now. You would, they, no, they run it super trash. They're not super trash. They run it super trash. Like any any label, any place that got super bad, Ryan Garcia, Jojo Diaz, Jaime Virgil Mundia, Ortiz, Virgil Ortiz, uh, Roger Cobbs, Gutierrez, yeah, Roger yeah. Gutierrez. It's like I can't call a place that got all of that trash, but no, you can run to- that trash. No, nah, I just like I mean I was watching the undercard on YouTube and 
the production quality it was just kind of yeah I mean, well yeah they, they on the youtube it's always been it's always been a little iffy on the on the youtube yeah. i mean i don't i don't really then I mean, that's like that's some other shit it, it, it feels like it's like a club show on youtube but once they get it onto the onto the zone it's, then it's like normal i don't know why they do that <laughs> i said if anything you know what Golden Boy probably did Cobbs a disservice in a way because I feel like they could have had him more active and and worked out certain things in his skill a little more. They kind of put him in a fight where it was sink or swim. So yeah. I think he kind of t- like 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 you would need to see like Cobbs would have got a title fight at top rank if he was over there or, or someone oh, yeah, who was really putting sure. him, like a career together on him. But here it's like a golden boy. He's already behind Virgil Ortiz, who they're managing pretty good, except the last fight, the the fight that got canceled, that's the only real trash fight. Although I wasn't a big fan of the mean machine, but it was still cool. Like it was a lateral fight. Right. But uh this fight was a step back to me, like uh but you know they it just they, they're just not running it right like with like everybody hopes and dreams is on ryan garcia now like because mongia right. he fucking ducking championship fights yeah they're ducking yeah they're they're, they're handling mongia horribly yeah, mongia no he's too. handling himself wrong like 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 okay oscar but it's like no one wants to blame mongia like he's a grown-ass fucking man like you seen the poll we had the other day, motherfuckers is voting for PBC. Like, yeah, <laughs> the, the motherfuckers is voting against the people that was trying to make it a regular ass Showtime fight. Yeah. And Oscar and his bullshit trying to make it a pay per view the zone, like all types of bullshit just fucked up a good fight. Like, mm-hmm. and now we got that trash fight with Charlo, and you know Mungia probably gonna have a trash fight or not? Fight. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, because you know you don't know. Yeah, so yeah, Golden Boy. Yeah, like it's not a bad like. I, like I, said, I love a Golden Boy car. Like, yeah, you know what? Fucking you, Henny Goslick is right. Golden Boy is super trash now. Like, <laughs> like I, you know, I try to defend them. I try to be honest and just be like, you know what? Like, like you know, you you try to say something nice about a chick that don't look good. Like you're like, bless her heart. Like. <laughs> You know, he has a nice smile on a rainy day. Like <laughs> this nigga right here, yo, he's stupid, yo. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Golden Boy. Yeah, it's just like I mean, Black Cops. Obviously, you know, like I said, they, he could have been built up better. But like I said, he got you know he got thrust into the spotlight, and then you know once Rocha started showing his level and Cobb started showing his, which wasn't much, <laughs> you know, yeah. Rocha, Besides the hard punch here and there. <laughs> Yeah, Rocha pretty much beat this dude down. The first knockdown was on some was that was a high, that was a highlight reel knockdown. Dude looked like a fucking jack in the box going down the way yeah. he did. Go go gadget uppercut like yeah shit. exactly that was an uppercut season if I ever saw one. Jeez, like <laughs> your facts. <laughs> you know, and then, and Cobbs was basically finished after that. Like Cobbs, he tried, but then once he took I think a right hook and then start going on the ropes and start absorb start taking bricks to the face again. Then you know, referee, referee like stepped in, and then fucking Cobbs was hitting the dude with body shots. Like, why? He like stop, stop punching. <laughs> dude was so out of it. He, he was still thinking he was in the fight. The ref, the fighter. <laughs> oh, oh yeesh. Uh, yeah, y'all, y'all got Golden Boy behind all the other promoters. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we we have to like. I mean, like I mean, yeah, they're not, they not using their they not using their players right. Yeah, I know. I know people bitch about Eddie and all that, you know. But, but um, Eddie at least right now has the women's box. Eddie is on top of the women's boxing world right now, so at least he has that behind him. Like, if you yeah. think, you know, about you know, either the UK level shows or how he's didn't make any. Yeah, he got Lee Wood too. He, he got Lee Wood. I've been telling y'all about Lee Wood since last year. Like, yeah. So he got Lee. So Eddie's doing all right for himself this year. Although last year he was damn. Upset season on his ass, pretty much, you know. You know is, yeah, and of course, top ranking PBC are what they are, you know, like they're, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. And oh, shout out to Joshua O right here. I see you, uh, you know, P, you know, Golden Boy and PBC Don, and don't, you know, don't uh, PBC Golden Boy and PBC don't keep their fighters at all compared to top ranking Matra. 
Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Golden Boy, people quietly leave. Uh, PBC, actually, no, PBC, they do retail. Like, I, don't, I, I haven't seen... Niggas, I don't, yo, niggas just stay at PBC forever. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, it's, it's usually, when they leave, it's usually like a big thing. It's usually some sort of scandal that goes behind it, you know? Yeah. You know, it's like, in Golden Boy, they quietly leave. <laughs> Except for Canelo. <laughs> you know? You know what I'm saying, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, match room and top rank, yeah, like, like top rank, you no, know, top rank loses fighters. Like when they go, they go. Well, top rank gets rid of them. Like they, they, yeah, top rank has yeah. they, they have a business model that is successful. Is it for but, everybody? It's successful but detrimental at the same time. Yeah, match room actually retains their box, retains their fighters more than anyone else. That actually, from what I see, like, yeah, usually if someone's not a match room anymore, it's usually it's like it's it's it, it gets quiet. Like the, I don't the, know who, who who's Queensberry like, uh, Frank Warren. Frank Warren. And, Hold on, but don't ain't he like connected with like Tyson Fury with the ESPN joint? Like, yeah. Yeah, like kind of, sort of. people don't. I mean, Queensberry is different because you know. To me, so they don't know who does Queensberry have. Like, do they have anybody over there? Like, like Joe Joyce and Daniel Joe Dubois. Joyce, yeah. or maybe to me, it's like it's, it's PBZ top rank, uh, Matchroom. You know, and then there's I mean, I mean of course, Golden Pro-Bellum. Boy is, is is partially better, but I mean, what card does Golden Boy have that's more anticipated than a fucking white? Tyson Fury right now. You like, know, Queensberry cards are awful. Like I'm not gonna I mean that's what that's they they lost their ESPN plus deal. That's their, their cards are not good. So they out, so yeah. And that's the thing, Golden Boy, like they not even bad. They just they not use like like tell me if you couldn't have a fucking triple header with Virgil Ortiz, Ryan Garcia, and Super Bad. You know how much money the gate that would do like you put that in fucking um stub hub or whatever the fuck they name that place now yeah they, they, they stay on the west coast like they they, they don't ever venture uh, past like a certain you, past you don't have to i mean when they have black fighters they don't promote them for shit so it's cool y'all yeah. got a bunch of mexicans over there in kill California. that shit then <laughs> then kill it like dude we should be having a fire golden boy card every month but we don't yeah, you know, you know, and, and for different, for various different reasons, and like I said, you know, it's a shame to, and like you know, Cobbs is pretty much like a sacrificial lamb because like now Rosha now should be getting a big fight. You know, I mean, Rosha did what he had to do. He put his foot in Cobbs' ass. Like you know, he yeah. should be, he should be, he should be getting a big fight. But watch Golden Go Boy probably won't do anything with him. Like, or what? Did I you, mean, you, you got the, it, it's it's the uh, you don't have the you, you got to um. It's just the divisions all fucked up, bro. Like Ortiz need to be at one fifty four and let Roca get one forty seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I mean, there's a whole boy. Like, if Golden Boy just needs, they, they they need something. Like they need somebody focused. In I don't know, Oscars that do. Oscars only focusing on maybe a few fighters, and then. But they, I think they. Who? Who? Cool, cause he ain't focused on no motherfucking uh, Mangia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? Maybe he's too focused on him. That's why. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, like I mean, like he done practice with Canelo, like and, and fucking Canelo out of fights and and not be able to make Saunders and Smith fights and for whatever no, no, reason. Not there when the, when when, when Smith fights actually win belts, like when fucking Gutierrez won his belt, you know, or Jojo Diaz won his belt for that matter. Yeah, he, he wasn't there for any of that shit. Well, he'll be at a UFC fight <laughs> yeah. when his own boxers are winning titles, or or Triller or some shit, or or in a hotel room <laughs> with cocaine or some shit like that. <laughs> so yeah, allegedly, yeah. of course, allegedly. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. You know, but yeah, but Cobb's Rocha did definitely save the weekend for sure for fights. Like, I mean, it, it, it it's did. pretty much the only real fight that I'd say, yeah, go watch that shit because the crowd was in it, the fight, the action was good, and you know, there was a knockdown and a knockout. It was brutal, you know, it was in a good stoppage. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, fuck with that fight, but anything else, just like, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, we you, warned you, That's, yeah, we warned you, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know, hopefully. 